Good morning guys, it's Yangbang, and I'm just putting together this, uh, I won't say quick, but small little video to help you guys install mods into your Blade and Sorcery game. A lot of people have reached out to me, or in, and in random places, just like, hey, how do I install mods? Or, hey, I got mods, but they're not working, can you help me out? And, you know, people kept asking me, and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna make a video so I can try to help you guys the best way I can. I don't mind, like, you know, typing up a paragraph or two to try to, to, try to help you guys, but I was like, okay, maybe I can find a way to kind of push it out there to help people all together. So this is just a small guide on how to install Blade and Sorcery mods, but this is through manual installation. I don't install anything through Vortex, I don't even have it, uh, so I can't, I can't really help you guys there. Uh, if you guys are more curious about how to install through Vortex, please watch the Baron's video. I think he breaks it down pretty well, so um, I'll try to add a link there if that helps you out. But for manual installation, that's my way to go. I think it's a little bit more simpler of a process, and uh, I've never had anything uh, bug out on me through the manual installation. So that's the way I like to do it, and that's the way I'm going to teach you guys how to do it. Alright, so step one for manual installation. You want to go to the Nexus webpage and find the mod that you want to install. For our example here, I got the page loaded up already and I'm going to install the Percussion Rifle by AXM98. I tried it out a little bit and the gun is super awesome, or excuse me, the rifle. So you get a little shout out, um, maybe it's Axum. Axum or AXM98? Axum. Anyway, so to manually install, you need to click the manual download button and I'm, I'm assuming you already have your Nexus account and everything, so you should be pretty familiar with this process. Just go ahead and click manual, the little window pops up, and then you can see down here that you know your PC is installed, I'm sorry, has downloaded the mod. And then you just go to your files here, plus about pull that up. And just back to my little description here, so that was step two, uh, manual button, download the mod. Step three, I'm assuming that you know where to go, like for me, the download is in my download file or folder and let's see story folder okay so the next part is putting the mod into your blade and sorcery game so i'm assuming that you guys probably have opened up your steam files before so if not i mean you can look at my directory it might help you out yours might be at me the c drive but it's programs steam steam apps common blade and sorcery and then here we are blade and sorcery Blade and Sorcery Data, and then Streaming Assets. This is where you want to put your mods. So going here, oh, I already have it. <laughs> I already have it uh, installed, but I'll do it again. So I'll just delete that. I'll go to my download file folder, and then here it is, the percussion rifle. So this is step five. Well, I guess it's kind of four or five still. Okay, anyway, oops. Alright, so you go ahead and just click and drag that bad boy over there. So now the zipped file, and the zip files, I know some mods come differently. This one's a uh, C7 file right now. There are some that come just as a folder, some that come as like an internet link. Don't worry, the process is all the same. So from here, right click the mod that's zipped, C zip it, or 7 zip it, or whatever you want to use to extract the file here. And then boom, there it is. Now your the uh, mod weapon or or mod. I think most of them are through this process. Some of them are a little bit different, but for our instances, we're just focusing on weapons. So with that process, the mod is now in the game. You're good to go. Uh, the next thing is make sure you get rid of this file. I don't know if you can leave it in there. I don't. I think you shouldn't, but. You can either move it or delete it. I just, oops, not rename it. I delete it because I still have it here in my downloads file. So if I need to pull it back later, I can do that. But most of the times, you, know, you just go back to the Nexus and download it. But this is what you want to see. You want to see all your, in the streaming assets, uh, all your mods that you want to put in there, make sure they're unzipped and in that folder. Now, if you go in game, you should be able to find your mod in its designated category, and that is here, step six. 
Yep. From there, you're done. I'll go ahead and jump into my game and show you guys the percussion rifle so you guys can see that everything's validated and you're all good to go. Alright guys, so back in the game, let's go over to the book. So I already pulled up the page right here, and ta-da! Right where firearms is, the planes rifle. Let's go ahead and push take. Oops. <laughs> and here we go. Easy like that guys. So just remember my steps. If there's anything that you guys have questions on, feel free to go ahead and comment down below or jump on my discord and you guys can chat with me there if you guys need further assistance. Um, I hope this helped and hopefully you guys can uh, start enjoying some fresh mods. Alright guys, that's all I got for now. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out. Hey, what's going on guys? Alright, so if you're watching all the way to the end of this video, I'm just gonna try out this mod. Um, I guess it's like a small lucky showcase. I wasn't really planning on playing the mod, but uh, you know what? This actually looks pretty cool. I have no idea how this gun works. Uh, I did shoot it once. So it shoots, it's pretty cool. I don't know how it reloads though. I don't know if I have to manually reload it like this. I, okay, I know gun. That's not how you reload this gun, but... I don't know if that like triggers it, you know what I'm saying? Like in a you know, game sequence. Oh, I guess so. It's kind of funny, you know, I'd rather do it this way, but oh, you know, it works out. So we'll play uh, Hard Wave 3 and see how that goes. Alright. This is pretty cool. I don't play with guns that often. Uh, well, yeah, let's try it out. Oh, I missed. <laughs> okay. Reload, right? <laughs> Take that. Take out your knees, boy. Oh, snap. Okay, the old timing gun. Oh, I missed. You know, it's not as loud as I uh, imagine the percussion rifle to be. It does do one hit damage though, or one hit kills. Calm down, you. <laughs> Butt strike. <laughs> Bam. It's actually pretty cool. I kind of like it. All these uh, archers everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's probably best for a butt stroking win. Come here, you. Gotcha! Nice. Oh man, this is rough. I'm supposed to have a gun! I totally missed his dick. Oh yeah, I forgot I have slow mo. Yeah, let's just goof off, guys. Ready? Let's go. Bam! <laughs> Bam! Ha! Gotcha. Woo! I don't think I really need to manually reload. I think it just reloads, right? Yeah, there we go. Ah! Take your knees out, boy! Fire! <laughs> That's pretty cool. I like the cloud effect. Ah, oh, yeah. What you got, son? Come on. There we go. Oh, it's got the little bullet too. Alright. Okay. Let's do a little marksman training. Ah, damn you. Okay. Make ready. Aim. Fire. <laughs> Alright. Here we go. Far shot. This one for the video, guys. Alright. Take a knee. Get you my sights, and boom! Oh, I got her, or him, or whatever it was. Okay, hey, plane's rifle is pretty cool. I wish it was a bit louder, you know. Nice big bang. But hey, guys, thanks for sticking around, uh, watching me goof off with the plane's rifle. I forgot the mod modder's name. I'll have it right here pop up. But yeah, guys, quick little tutorial on how to add mods. And then just demoing this. Uh, I got other things to do now, like make uh, 
modded weapon episode 4 right i think everybody wants that so thanks for watching guys i'll see you guys in the next one peace out